All right, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Aisha Driggers from the City of Columbia Office of Business Opportunities. We're so excited here to be here and welcome Roy to Courtright in North Main. And we're excited about having our grand opening. Small businesses are so important to the city, and there's so much history in this building, which we'll hear more about. Um, so at now I'd like to welcome Brother Michael, Jacobs. Brother Michael Jacobs for a prayer. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this gathering. We thank you for this business that you have allowed Roger to open in this area. I pray, God, that as he work his entrepreneurship in this area, that it will be a blessing not only to him but those who are here. I pray that you will put your protective hand around him as he work in this neighborhood and all those who will join him in this business. We thank you now. We give you praise. We give you honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Uh, first, let me say thank you, of course, to the City of Columbia for this, uh, this event and for the ribbon cutting. Of but and when I graduated high school in 98 and I started hair school, I would come past this building literally every day. And Dr. Austin, he was a dentist out of Orangeburg, and he wanted to make this his second location for his dentist office. And every time I stopped, he would be out here mowing the grass, whatever. And I would always ask him, can I rent the building to do hair in? And he would always say, son, if you want the building, you got to buy it. And this has been going on since 1999. And the building sat empty since 1980. So <laughs> the building never sold. And me and April happened to come past it one, one week. And it was a for sale sign in front of the building. So we were just like, April called a number. Let's see what's up. We called the number got things moving, the city got involved, the OBO, off the OBO office got involved. Thank you, Britt. And it just went to, I now own the building. <laughs> and um, the, 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 the most um, beautiful piece of the puzzle is, I keep telling people that because of God, so many things happen. And it just happened to be a full circle moment for me because my mother, when, we get, when I got the building, I, I later realized that this was the office that Dr. Allen used to have, and all of the blacks would come here to, to the doctor's office, but they would have to enter the back. They could not enter the front of this building. They would enter the back, and the colored waiting room was on the side where the office is. And I, I preserved that room. I wanted to make sure that the paneling and everything stayed up, stayed up in that room, but my mom said that, Roy, this is the very building that I found out I was pregnant with you in. So I was like, OK, so maybe this building was really meant for me, because this is literally where it all started for me, <laughs> literally. So it's just a beautiful, a beautiful moment for me, for my family, for just the community period. Y'all know I'm a Shamrock to the day I die. <laughs> and this is Eau Claire, born and raised all day, every day. But um, Councilman Herbert, I would love for you to come and join me at the podium. I understand you have something to say. I am. So, Roy, come over here. Um, so, first of all, I want to make sure you take a moment to look at all of these people who are out here yes. to support you and all the love. I feel the love, and I'm so appreciative for um, everyone that's here, but I'm appreciative to you. Because don't thank the city, because we ain't really do a whole lot. I mean, no, I'm, you know, y'all know I'm pretty honest. But when you missed one thing that he said. This building had been empty since when? 80, 1980. 1980. And this is my district. And one of the things we want to do is make sure we start using these empty buildings and putting some life in them. And if you were to ask me, I really want black people to own the buildings, OK? Right. Is that OK for me to say? And so um, I'm not a shamrock. I'm a raider. And mm. there are a few raiders it's out okay. there. It's OK. I mean, I just got to say it. Y'all know I got to say it. I'm That's a raider. All right. But uh, for me, it's always been critical, and one of the reasons why I ran for city council is because this area is changing, and I want to make sure that African-American people who've been here all these years have some ownership. Yeah. So thank you, thank you for helping us to reach our goals in this area. Um, thanks to the staff. Anything you need? Well, I don't even have to tell Roy if he needs something to call, because if, <laughs> if y'all know Roy, he don't have a problem calling. All right, Brett. Uh, <laughs> he does not have a problem calling, None. but anything you need from us I'm so godly proud for you mom and daddy y'all thank y'all for, for making him who he is 
And anything else y'all need, just let me know. I will. I'm so proud of it. Thank you, baby. So again, congratulations, Roy. Welcome to this building. We know it's going to be very successful for you, and we wish you continued success. And it's my understanding you're going to have some office space in here as yes. well, mm -hmm. um, as well as some community um, space for after school. Yes. So that's yeah. wonderful. That's a, a, a great asset to our community. So at this time, we would like for you to you and your family to come and cut the ribbon. Sure.